What is up, everybody? Zach here. I'm just going to quickly run you through how to use Leadloft's Prospector. Let's dive into it. So when you hop into Leadloft, if you don't already have the Prospector installed, you're going to want to hop over to Prospecting on the top left here. Go to Prospector, and we'll ask you to install it. If you already have it installed, you'll see a demo video here like I do right now. Once you have it installed, you can click it on the top right and then search on LinkedIn. For now, I already have a search open on LinkedIn. So if you look at this, you can see in the bottom, there's the Leadloft Prospector. It's this big blue bar. Within it, you can see Segment, Playbooks, and User. So let's break down what each one of those is. A segment is used to segment different leads. So essentially, you can filter for an outbound segment. You want to filter for VPs of companies who have 11 to 50 employee segment. You can basically build out these segments to stay organized when you're inside a lead loft and filtering out for different leads. For now, I'll leave it as outbound. You have an option for playbook, which when you have selected, will actually engage contacts using that playbook every time you click save. You also have a user option. This allows you to assign deal owners and also assign the sender. And this is only usable if you're an admin or owner. Now let's dive into how to use it. So for starters, you can see I have a search here on LinkedIn, and this is LinkedIn People Search. It also works on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, so something to be aware of. But for now, let's just use LinkedIn. We'll see here a search for founder and CEOs. You can find somebody you want to engage, and then you can just click Save when you find them. We'll click Save, and as soon as we click Save, what's happening? So we're going to find and verify contact information. Even if that contact info is not on LinkedIn, we're also going to format the company and the contact, make sure there's no emojis, no parentheses, basically ensure that it's outreach ready, then also engage them in the selected playbook. So now let's hop into Leadloft and see what happens here. We'll click Pipeline. These new, these new contacts will appear at the top. See Mason Hub here. Let's open them up. So Mason Hub, you can see Donnie was saved here. Now if we open up Donnie here, you can see we found and verified his email as well. You can also see we're engaging him in the playbook we had selected within the Chrome extension. Now let's see what happens if we select a couple contacts. We'll go over to LinkedIn. We'll open up Danny here. Let's look at more people from Mason Hub. So there's more contacts here. Maybe it's Rich Patterson we want to get in touch with. He is the VP of sales, so perfect. We'll scroll down and the lead off save button will appear next to relevant experiences. So you can save the email for specific companies instead of just saving uh, the top most one. So in this case, again, we want to save for Mason Hub. We'll say segment outbound, playbook VPs outbound, and we'll click save. We'll hop back into lead loft and let's see what happened. Open up Mason Hub again. You can now see Rich Patterson has also been saved. You can see his emails also been found and verified. And you can see we're also engaging him in a playbook. Leadloft's also recognize that Rich and Donnie are a part of Mason Hub. So what we've done automatically in the background is deduplicate them and put them in the same exact account here. So you don't have to worry about duplicates or tons of different leads getting confused. Leadloft will automatically deduplicate in the background. And the last aspect of all of this is a slightly more advanced feature. If I click the settings over here, I have the option to avoid duplicate outreach. And what this means is I'll actually not enroll somebody in a playbook if we're already engaging somebody at that company. So let's just go ahead and save Rich here again. We'll go ahead and delete him real quick. And see what happens when avoid duplicate outreach is on. We'll refresh this page. There we go. Now let's go ahead and click save. And again, notice we do have a playbook selected. You'll also notice that avoid duplicate outreach is on. We'll click save. We'll hop back into lead loft here. Let's open up Mason Hub one more time. You can see Rich Patterson has been saved, but we're not enrolling him in a playbook because we had a void duplicate outreach on. It's a more advanced feature for those of you who are concerned about contacting multiple people at the same company. So that's how to use Leadloft's Prospector. If you have any questions, remember to reach out using the chat bubble on the bottom right. See you guys in the next video.